Well, good Sunday morning. Before I forget, come join us today at live at five. If you can't make it here to church, well, you know we're, we're on YouTube or Facebook. But we'd really enjoy you uh, coming. And if you can't, we understand. All right. Uh, but we'll have our service live at five. So again, I invite you. All righty. So here's what's going on now. So Paul and Barnabas, they're back in Jerusalem. They're kind of giving, giving the, the rundown on what's been going on and the salvation of the Gentiles. And the, uh, the disagreement we saw became no disagreement at all as they looked it through and prayed on it and found out and, and heard the witnesses on what was going on. All right? And what we really learned from that is, you know, we may have some disagreements, but as long as we keep our eyes on Christ Jesus and move forward, that's what matters. Now, I don't know about you, but maybe you've had a disagreement with a Christian brother or sister at one time or another. Or maybe your church has had a disagreement with inside itself. And, and uh, uh, what we have to remember is the main prize. We have to remember that our whole focus is what? To be witnesses and disciple makers for, for our, our Lord, right? Amen? So, we have another disagreement coming up, all right? And here's what we see as, it is, as we move forward, all right? Uh, Paul is, I think we know, is a godly, godly man. And Barnabas is a godly, godly man, all right? And uh, so they're ready to head back out now. They're going to head back out into the mission field, and uh, Barnabas wants to take John Mark, and Paul did not want Mark to go. And the reason he didn't want to go, because he, he, he uh, felt that he abandoned them in Pamphylia. And so he, he has a disagreement with Barnabas, a very mature Christian disagreement, all right? There wasn't a big fight, there wasn't a big argument, but what they did decide is when they headed out, they were going to head out to these churches that had been established and go back and encourage them and, 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 and make sure that they're built up. Well, that's a lot of places to go. So they decided it was time for them to split up. Barnabas took Mark, and Paul now takes Silas. So now we see Silas come into the picture. And this is a lesson for us all, Okay. Oh, we can disagree, and there's no problem with disagreeing, all right? Uh, but they didn't lose their focus on what they were supposed to do, all right? They didn't spend the whole amount of time on their argument. They said, how can we rectify this? So even though they disagreed, they kept, they kept very focused on their calling. Now, when we look at this, remember I told you Barnabas was his name was son of encouragement, right? And he is an encourager. Well, he wanted to encourage this young John Mark and bring him along. Now, I don't know. We, none of us know what Mark's age was at the time. But we do know this, that Mark's age, uh, uh, as a Christian, he was still young. He didn't, he didn't know Jesus. Some say he might have been one of the 70 apostles. But most of us agree, he didn't know Jesus. He got saved through the gospel of Peter, all right? Or the gospel of Christ, but through Peter. And uh, uh, so anyways... Uh, but we keep talking about this John Mark. And he did grow, all right? And he was a very mature believer at the end. And Barnabas encouraged him as, as time went on as they went to these different places. So uh, here's some things you might want to know about Mark before we pick up. Because they, they went ahead and they went on to Cyprus. And Mark, we know John Mark, is Mark, the gospel of Mark. We have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And so Mark wrote the gospel, all right, of Mark. And we see that now, that is part of our Bible. So this, this one person that, that Paul felt was too immature, and Barnabas said, listen, I'm going to encourage and have him come with me 
All right, look at what happened. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but Mark in 68 AD uh, died a martyr's death. They actually took and they, they put a rope around his neck and drug him through the streets until he was dead. All in the name for Jesus. But as we see, Paul going on takes Silas. And they go, instead of to Cyprus, they go to Syria and Cilicia, and they're strengthening the churches there. And I would like to tell you more about that, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Father God, we again, we thank you for these godly men. Father, it shows us what can be accomplished when we just surrender our lives and are focused on you. And Lord, when there were disagreements and there were arguments, it wasn't the kind of thing that split churches and split friendships. It was a matter of fi- how can we do this? How can we find a way so we can glorify our Lord Jesus? What a great example Paul and Barnabas were in all cases. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, live at 5. I'll see you tonight. God bless.